Hello again, inhabitants of the Shapes universe. This is Vince, and I welcome you to episode 10 in Let's Play Shapes Industries. We left last episode having built a, um, a factory for level 20, and I said to you that I would let the shapes run into the hub um, off camera, which I kind of did, uh, but I stopped at 4,900 items so that we could unlock the, uh, the belt crossing together and have a look at that. So let's do that first, shall we? Unpause. And there we go, level 20 completed. You unlocked the belt crossing. The belt crossing passes two belts over each other with no interaction between them. Incredibly useful. The belt crossing can help you compact your factories down to a fraction of their previous size. Well, yeah, I can imagine. It's a one cell building that lets you, you know, like the, like the wire crossing, it lets you do that on the physical layer. So I'm sure that will come, uh, that will come in handy. Now, this level 21 shape, I have a little confession to make. Uh, I looked at this shape off camera a bit because I thought, you know what? Uh, the harder these shapes get, the more time I am going to need to, um, yeah, to analyze them. And that is just going to make for a plain boring video, you know? So what I did was um, I had a look at this and I tried to you know, find out how to do that. And I prepared a little thing and um, to show you how we're going to approach this shape. So the first thing I'm going to do actually is, no, not the warehouse. That's not where we want to go. We're going to take this, um, we're going to take this signal and we are going to put it here as a reference, all right? So I had a look at this and I tried to recreate how to do this shape on the virtual layer. Now, disclaimer, in order to do that, I noticed that I didn't have virtual versions of the smelter and the combiner, which we I feel we definitely need for this shape. So um, what I did was actually, I went ahead and installed the Wires Plus mod by Skimner Phi, right? And that will help me to recreate this shape virtually. Now, full disclaimer, I do not intend to use the Wires Plus mode for the mod, sorry, for the time being, um, to assist me with setups that weren't initially intended by Sense101, which is the creator of Shapes Industries, right? but I will use the Wires Plus mod in order to help me analyze the shapes and figure out how they need to be assembled. So, in order to get this shape, I worked out the following. Have a look. Um, the first thing I'm going to do here is we are going to split both of these shapes in half. Okay, um, and one of the both, one of two, we are going to flip that 180 degrees. Then we're gonna get from that, actually, as a matter of fact, I think I wanna do this one. So we are going to get from that, if we stack it, a square. Is that what we want? No, it's not what we want. Why is this not what we want? Was this it after all? No, of course not, because I have to rotate it, okay? Back to the drawing board. There we go. That's going to give us a full square. And then this is going to give us a windmill, right? There we go. There we have the square and the windmill. Now. The square can be combined with a belt of circles. Let's see that virtual combiner. Here it is. In order to create that shape. The rounded circle. And the windmill 
we are going to need to combine that with half a star. But first, let's decompose the other windmill. So, another cutter. And then... Like so. This gives me another windmill and we will also need that. And then the star, we need to get that split, get it rotated, then get it split again, like so, and then Is that what we want? Okay, took me a bit, but we're there. So, we have one windmill, two windmills, and this combined shape. The thing we want to do now is get another another combiner out here because we need to connect one windmill to the um, the half star shape so that we get this and is this the correct one no it is not so we get this instead that is correct and now we get that rotation out here and we get that out there. That is what we want, isn't it? Yes, it is. So, I'm gonna compress this a bit, like so. And now onward to the next step. Now that we have these three shapes coming out, uh, we can smelt them. The next step is smelting. And the virtual smelter is here. So smelt, smelt, smelt. Is that correct? Yes, it is. And then we are going to paint them. Except not the right one. The right one has to be split. It has to be split between green and and red, so it doesn't make sense to paint it first. This one, we are going to split first, and then we're going to paint it. Perfect. This, we paint yellow. This, we paint white. This, we paint red. And this, we paint green. There we go. Those are the components we need. Then we split this and this like so. And then because we need yellow and yeah, we need this yellow shape to be top-bottom. This can stay the way it is. And we need red at the bottom here and green at the top there. So, we do it like that. And now, we can stack this on top of that. And then this on top of that, that will give us this weird looking shape right here, but it is the correct shape we are going to want. For the other piece, we are going to do that, and then this. And now stacking these two pieces together, that won't work, however, combining them that will work. So, where is my virtual combiner? There it is. 
And now we get the shape. And to be absolutely sure that we did the correct thing, let's put a com let's put a comparing unit in. Connect that to this this wire, and the output should be one. And exactly, it is. So here we have a setup on how we can get this shape produced. And I'm going to use it as you know as a little bit of a cheat sheet every now and again. I'm going to I'm going to come back to this setup. And then I'm going to have a look at it. But other than that, this is the way I'm going to create this shape. Okay, let's do it. Okay, I believe these are the belt inputs we might need in terms of shapes. And then now let's have another quick peek at our um, <clears throat> at our setup right here. So what we will need in terms of color is for four belts of output that is four belts of red here, four belts of green here. That is eight belts of no, sorry, two belts of red, because we're working with a double painter. So two belts of red, two belts of green. That's another two belts of everything. So that's four red, four green, two blue. And another two red and two green. So that's six red, six green, and two blue. That's what we need. That's the amount of belts we will need. So, back to the setup. Okay, so that is it. That was quite the setup, wasn't it? Now, we are going to get back to the cheat sheet and then we can finally start actually building the thing. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get a, um, a splitter in to get windmills and, and squares retrieved from this combined shape. So let's do that first. Off to the warehouse and then Let's see, would it make sense for me to use this? Yes, it would. So let's use that. Get back to current. And that is the thing we are going to do first. Now, how many of, the, of these do I need? Let's see. I think two will do, right? realizing I don't have enough resources right here, so what I'm, I'm afraid I need to do is pull five more belts of this, isn't it? I'm afraid I will. I'm afraid I will have to, so let's create a little gap. One, two, three, 
four, five. And then let's get another five belts in. But the thing is I need to find that shape, which isn't as, which is not gonna be as easy. Okay, so that is that. That is roughly the um, the output we need. Now, we have some squares here. We have some, some windmills here. We have some windmills at the bottom. And we have stars and circles right here. So, the first thing I'm going to do next is cut my star shapes up because we are going to need that right we are we need one star shape that's diagonal top right bottom left and we need another one that's diagonal top left bottom right and I think a uh, suitable candidate to do that would be the the laser cutter array I have right here is it not I think it is um, now should I use this one let's see if I can use that one has simple wiring, and I think it's um, I think it might serve our needs pretty well. So let's run the both uh, the two star shapes in there. All oh, right, that is not at all the unit I needed. That is not at all the unit I needed. Let me try another one. Excellent. Over time, that will give me exactly what I want. Now, we need to get those into combiner units together with some windmills. So, let's do that. Yep, that looks good. Now the other one. Right then, I think we are good here, um, but we do need two more of these, don't we? We do, we do. Let's get them below, because now what we need to do is bring in the other stuff. We need to bring in the other stuff. But now the question is, have I not made the correct have I not made the correct uh, ratios here? I'm looking at it. And I thought we should be good, right, for, for the stars. Because if we want four belts of output, then we need four belts of this. And we need four belts of this, aren't we? Yeah, and we need two more belts of stars, don't we? We do, we do, we do, we do, we do. Okay, well then. Luckily we have those, don't we?
god, the more we move ahead, the complexer these machines are getting, aren't they? But, uh, I think this actually looks pretty good. This actually looks pretty good. Um, but not quite. Not quite. Not quite, because the rotation of our stars is not yet correct. In this top machine, we want stars in the top left and in the bottom right diagonal. So if we do that for the first machine of four, we want that for the third machine of four as well. And that is this one. So as a matter of fact, you are okay. And you should be rotating. Isn't it? And I think that is the case. After that is done, we need another, another few of these modules to produce the first layer of our shape, which is the, um, this one, the rounded, the rounded square. So back to the warehouse, back to our setup. And now let's do the rounded squares. All right, let's get them in. Okay, and that is that. Four belts of rounded squares, four belts of these upright, I don't know what to call them, windows, four belts of those flat ones. And this will eventually balance out to a, to a full belt again. We need to keep an eye on that. And now that we have all of those base shapes, we can get to painting, can't we? Um, but I am afraid that, yeah. My color stayed behind a bit, so now we need to get that in. Okay, next up, color. Let's look at what we need again. We need uh, four belts of yellow, four belts of white, and then uh, four belts of red and four belts of green, don't we? Well, no, half that. Two belts of yellow, two belts of white, two belts of red, two belts of green. On to coloring. Here we go. Dear God, dragging these belts out is coming is becoming an increasingly tedious task, isn't it? But we got there. So we have our shapes at the top. They are outputting nicely. And we have indeed gotten up to full belts again, which is something I like. And now we can get to painting them. So let's get a few paint arrays out. Double painter arrays. That is, that's what I made my calculations for. And then we have some painting to do. So on to painting. Hold on, not yet. First we have some smelting to do. So back to the warehouse and let's smelt. Now that the smelting has happened, we can do the painting. Again, one of 
these. Oh dear lord. Hmm. That is annoying, isn't it? And I saw it too late, so I don't really have the space anymore to fix this in an elegant way. How am I going to do this? Well, if we can't fix it elegantly, we'll fix it unelegantly. So, how about this? I'm afraid that'll have to do. As long as we get that full belt of yellow paint out, I'll take it. But it looks good now, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. So despite my efforts to uh, increase my my uh, bug print count, uh, I am still running out of, which is a bit annoying, so I'm afraid this video will contain more fast forwarding and more waiting. But uh, yeah, lucky there is the power of technology to do that for us, so um, yeah, we should be good in the end. Dear Lord, this machine is getting pretty insane. What a big machine. And I'm constantly running out of bug prints. So I have to keep waiting until I have enough bug prints. And then, only then, I can build the next unit. But slowly but steadily, I feel like we are getting there. The next thing I need to do... Let's see, this is 950 to copy. This is 2000 to copy. This is 2500 to copy, but it is a quad stacker. Hmm.
Dear Lord, you guys, this machine is taking so much longer than expected. Now, the good news is that I have the components I want and I have them in full belts, but the true bottleneck of this episode is my my lack or, or my scarcity of bug prints. And I severely underestimated, to be honest, how big this machine would get. Look at this thing. It's pretty tremendous, you know? And the thing is, I feel like at the moment I have been recording for so long that I kind of want to wrap the episode up here. So the next thing we need to do, if I have calculated everything correctly, is that these are in fact correct components and we just need the, um, the combining units to get these combined and then we can run that into the up. Hub. But on the other hand, I also feel like it wouldn't be the worst idea if I just let the game running for a bit to stock up on my bug prints, because in the end I think that uh, having four belts of those things is kind of enough. However, um, I just saw it too late, you know. I should have I should have spotted it sooner that I was running out of these bug prints. And um, yeah, I think I'm just going to let the game run for a bit off camera and then just stock up on bug prints. But not to worry, nothing that contains progress within the game will be um, will be handled, so you won't miss out on that. But other than that, yeah, I feel like I am cross-eyed a bit from looking at my screen for so long. So um, yeah, I'm going to wrap up the episode here. Despite not having managed a full level in this episode, I hope you still had fun. I hope you still found it interesting. And um, yeah, you had fun following along how this shape is produced. Because I hope you can gather that these shapes are becoming increasingly complex. And especially since you want a big output of them, I want to create four belts, then that translates to massive, massive parallel machines. Uh, careful calculations of ratios and whatnot and in the end um, you know um, you have to you're going to have to throw a whole ton of these bug prints and rat prints at it which again is something I underestimated a bit but we learn every day and um, yeah today was a day of learning as well I guess anyway thank you very much for watching I hope you'll join me next video where we will finish this shape and then get to work on the next one. And we will unlock research tier three, so that might be interesting. And um, yeah, as I said, I hope to see you then and there. For now, I am signing off, wishing you all a lovely day. Take care. Bye bye.